If you have ever wanted to run Mac OS on your Windows PC, you have probably come across different methods like Hackintosh or using VirtualBox. But these methods often come with challenges like Hackintosh setups can be complicated and unstable while VirtualBox tends to have performance issues. But don't worry, today I am going to show you much better and easier way to install Mac OS on your Windows PC using VMware Workstation. This method provides smoother performance, better compatibility and it is easier to set up compared to the other methods. So let's dive in. I have broken down overall process into few simple steps. First, we will need to get VMware Workstation and for that you need to create an account on the Broadcom website. You can find the link in the description below under the header Broadcom link. And when you click on the link, it will take you to this login page. To create an account, click on login and then select register. This will open a new tab for the registration. Here enter the email id you want to use, complete the captcha and then click next to proceed. Now you will receive an OTP at the same email id which you have used for the registration. Enter the OTP here and then click on verify and continue. Now on the next page, fill the mandatory details marked with a star, set your password accept terms of use and click create account. Now you have successfully registered to Broadcom website. And when you scroll down here, just click on I will do it later to proceed to download VMware workstation. Once this page get refreshed, go back to the initial tab. Now here enter the email ID you just used to create the account in the username field. Check the remember me box and click next. It will authenticate your email ID once that is done, again check remember me and click next. You will be then be prompted to enter the password you just created. Input your password and click sign in. Once signed in, you will see a list of VMware workstation options. Since we need it for personal use and want the latest version, which is workstation pro 17.0 for personal use, I will select this. Next. Choose the latest build from the available options. On the following page, check the box to accept the terms and conditions and then click on the download icon. Additional verification will require. So click yes. And in the open page, fill out the necessary details. And click submit. Once that's done, you will be redirected to the download page again. Click on the download icon. Choose a folder where you want to save this file. I will save it in my download folder. Once the download is completed, navigate to the folder and double click on the file to run the installation. Grant admin access when prompted. Now click on next, accept the license agreement then next. Do not change anything here and click on next. Now there are two options. If you want to join the customer experience improvement plan, keep it as it is or untick this option. Now click on next and here if you want to create a desktop icon, keep it as it is or untick this box. Now click on next and then Click on installation to start the installation process. This process will take few minutes. I will fast forward this installation process. And once done, click on finish to close the installation window. Now double click on the icon to run it for the first time. It will ask for the license key, but since we are using this for the personal use, Select the first option. The license key field will gray out, allowing us to continue. Click finish to launch VMware workstation. Now when you go to the create a new virtual machine and then install the OS letter which we will use to install the Mac OS, you will notice VMware only shows four options, Windows, Linux, VMware ESX and others. To add Mac OS as an option, we need to install the auto unlocker patch. 
you can find the link in the description under the header auto unlocker click on the link and it will take you to the this github page on the right hand side you will see the release section click on auto unlocker version 2.01 and from the asset section download the unlocker zip file do not download any other file just the unlocker zip once the file is downloaded go to the download folder right click on the zip file and click on extract all now select the folder where you want to extract the zip file i have kept the default download folder and click on extract once extracted right click on the file and click on run as administrator in the open window click patch now it will take some time to get installed Once the patch is installed successfully, you will get a notification. Click on OK and close all the windows. Now reopen VMware Workstation. Click on Create a Virtual Machine and select the typical configuration. Click Next. Then select I will install the operating system later and click Next. Now you will see that Apple Mac OS option has appeared in the list along with the different versions from Mac OS 10 to the latest Mac OS 15. Since we are installing Mac OS Sonoma which is Mac OS 14, we will select the second option from the top and click on next. Now before we start installing Mac OS, we need to create a virtual machine and the first step to select the path where you want to save your virtual machine. Here default path is document folder. But if you want to use any other specific path, use the browse option to make the changes. Once done, click on next. Now allocate the space. Since Mac OS 14 will take around 40 to 45 GB of space, I will keep it as default value 80. If you think you need more space, increase it accordingly. Now here you can see default allocation of RAM is 4 GB. But to run the Mac OS 14, you need minimum 8 GB of RAM and 2 processor and 4 cores each. You can change the value by clicking on customize hardware. Since I am doing it for demo and my PC is pretty old. So I just increase the RAM to 6 GB and will keep the number of processor as 1 and core per processor is 4. But you can make sure here you must select the processor as 2 and core per processor is 4 to have a smooth Mac experience. Also if you want to install any other version of Mac OS, I have provided the minimum system requirement in the description below for your reference, which will help you to customize the hardware as per the Mac OS version. Now click on finish to create the virtual machine. Now here you can see you have my computer on the left hand side and under it Mac OS 14. Now to run the installation, click on CD slash DVD SATA. Here click on the last option which is use ISO image and click on browse and locate the Mac OS Sonoma path where you have saved it. If you don't have Mac OS Sonoma image, I have already provided the link in the description below to download it. Also, if you want to learn how to create an ISO image of any Mac OS version, do let me know in the comment section. We'll create a video on it if you guys are interested. Click OK to proceed further. Now here click on power on the virtual machine to run the installation. Now you can see installation is started. Installation will be lengthy process and it will take approximately 30 minutes. So I will skip the loading and installation progression. Now first step here is to select your preferable language. I will select English and click on this arrow. Now we have to format the virtual disk which we have created to install the Mac OS. And for that go to the disk utility and here the first drive which is VMware virtual SATA hard drive. We have to format it to install Mac OS. And for that select the disk and click on erase. Under the name update as per your choice. I will update Mac OS and click on erase to format the disk. One process completed, click on done and close the window. Now 
select install macOS Sonoma and click continue. Again click on continue and then agree the terms of software license. Now select the drive which we have formatted and continue. Now this will take some time to complete the process. Once installation is completed, we need to complete the initial setup where you have to update your country or region, then language which you want to speak and write, then accessibility, migration assistance and sign up with Apple ID. I will skip all these steps. You can update these details as per your preference and once you finish all these steps, your Mac OS 14 is ready to launch for the first time. But here you can see your graphics is only showing as 3 MB and it only works on one resolution which is 1024 into 768 and you cannot share any file between your Windows PC and this Mac OS. Now to resolve this issue, we need to install VMware tool and for that you can use the link in the description which I have updated under the header VMware tool and here you have to go to VMware tool 11.3.5 and under it download VMware tools package for macOS which is 2.72 MB in size. Once downloaded extract the file and here in the extracted file we have to install Darwin file which is in ISO format. First we need to shut down our macOS and then go to the edit virtual machine setting. Here click on CD DVD SATA. Here again select use ISO image file and click on browse. Now select the Darwin file which we have just now extracted. Click on ok and then go to power on this virtual machine. And once your Mac is up click on VMware tools and then install VMware tools. It will ask you to enter the password to make the changes. If you get a notification about block system extension, then go to your privacy and security and allow the VMware here. Enter the password to complete this step. Now it will ask you to restart the system. But here click on not now to complete the installation process. And once installation is completed successfully, restart your system. Now once you restart your system, you can see the resolution of your screen is changed and graphics is changed to 128 MB. Now as a last step, we need to enable file sharing between Windows and Mac. And for that, we need to shut down the Mac. And again, go to the edit virtual machine settings. Here on top, click on options and go to share folders. Currently it is in disable mode. Click on enable radio button and then click on add now. From the open folder wizard click on next. Then under the host path click on browse. Now select the folder which you want to share. Here I will select the document folder for the demo and click ok. Then next and finish. Now, now click on ok to close the window. And now we have done with all these steps. To check the share folder, again run the virtual machine and once your Mac is started, click on finder and then click on go and here select the computer. Now you can see VMware share folder and when I open it, I can see the document folder which I have shared with the Mac OS. And there you have it. You have successfully installed the Mac OS on your Windows PC. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to give the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of our future tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.